Hi, I'm Lisa Martin and welcome to my channel, Keto Kitchen by Lisa. I came up with this chaffle about a week ago and I've been having it for breakfast quite a bit. So I wanted to share it with you. It's the Keto Sausage Ball Chaffle. Sometimes you don't wanna make a whole bunch of sausage balls and this way you don't have to. You can make one, cha two chaffles and serve it up right away. So if you wanna see how this plays out, then stick around. I've got my new ch two chocolate makers right here. And as you can see there, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug them in so that they can be preheating. Okay, there's the red one, and then I have a white one. I have two of them that I've gotten over time. If you don't have a chocolate maker, then you can use whatever you've got. But I've got the red one right here. And then I've got the other one, so I'm just going to push it down a little bit so you can see what's going on, because I want you to be able to see what's going on. Okay, and then what you're going to need is a fourth of a cup of cheese, and I have a couple bags that I have opened, and so we're going to use them up, because you know me, I don't throw anything away. And I've got a new bag too, but I've got two bags here, so that'll probably be the fourth of a cup that we need. I'm going to do that. There goes. You will need a half a cup to a cup of browned sausage, breakfast uh, sausage, like right here. So I just put that in there. And I call this Parmesan cheese and one egg at room temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the egg in here. And I'm going to mix it up real, real good. You want to make sure that your egg is at room temperature. It just cooks better. It's not so eggy. Um, so that way you've got that, okay? So that's mixed up really, really good. And with, what we're going to do is we're going to layer them. Once these get warmed up, we're going to layer them on here. Now you can add the sausage to it, but I prefer to just, um, you know, do it, I'd rather build them. But the permanent John cheese is two tablespoons. We're gonna go ahead and put that in here, in with the egg. It just does better if it's got if it's got something to stick to. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just mix this up really good. Now both of the dashes have clicked back off, so that means they are preheated, so that's good. And I'm going to get my cheeses. And you can watch me build one. Here's the first one we're going to build, and you can watch me. So what I'm going to do is just stick a little bit of cheese on the bottom so that it can be cooking. And then a little, half of this egg mixture we will put in here. And I like to make sure that it gets all the way around. And then use as much of this as you want. Make sure you get around the edges because when you shut the door, when it cooks, it'll all go to the middle. I have made these and I'm perfecting them. So if you have to put a little extra, uh, then you shut the door and the light will appear. Over there. Make sure you get the cord out of the way. Alrighty. And then we're going to build the second one. We'll push this one back and we'll build this one. This exact same way. This one I forgot to add the cheese to, so. I'm going to add some more cheese on top. You don't really have to look at it. It started cooking, but I like to have extra cheese. So, okay, now the same thing here. We're going to go ahead and put our cheese on here. But these dashes are nice to have. But if you don't have one, you can use a waffle maker. The rest of this cheese uh, egg mixture will go in on top. Okay, and just make sure that you've got it all. Okay. And then you want to put some more up here. Are you all butter fingers in the kitchen like I am? I just get so. And then you put some more cheese on top. These are so easy to make. And then you just shut the door and the light will go on. So I've used up one of those and I didn't have to open these. So what you need is a fourth of a cup of shredded cheese of whatever you like. A lot of people use mozzarella, but I like to use Colby Jack. That's just my preference. We used a half a cup 
you can use a half a cup to a cup of brown breakfast sausage, a room, an egg at room temperature, and two tablespoons of palm, okay, powder. Now, I do have a really, really good recipe that's a sausage ball that I would like to for you to try for the Christmas. I'm going to be putting it in my Christmas playlist and I'm going to put it a ring. There'll be a circle at the top of this video. You can click on that and it will take you right to it. But this just see, this just screams Christmas to me. I love to have sausage balls. And so I'm just, that's why I came up with this is because I'm so, so in love with it. If you're new to my channel, then please watch this video. And if you like the content, then please, at the end, there'll be a red subscribe button. You can click on that. And when you do, a bell will appear. And you can click on the bell and put all for all notifications so that anytime I go live or I drop a new video, you will be notified. Also, if you're um, not new to my channel, you're part of my family, and I love, love, love y'all, and thank you so much for dropping by today. I put paper towels under here because it's a lot easier to clean that up than it is the um, dried cheese off of your counter. I also have this rack over here, this baking rack that I use. It's good to keep them from going, um, if you keep them on a plate until they cool, then they will um, develop some condensation and they will get, um, you know, a little um, too liquid, too much liquid. Um, so, but mine don't last long enough for them to do that. I usually wait for them to cool, yeah, but they will get soggy if you leave them, if you don't put them on a rack until they cool. But like I say, most of the time, mine don't last that long. I eat them right away. So um, we're waiting for it to finish. Now one of the dashes has gone, the light has gone off, so that means that it has finished. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it up and I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it now so that I don't forget and look at how nice and pretty that is. And what I do is I just kind of lift it so that it doesn't fall apart on me. Yeah, see? It turns really nice and golden brown. Oops. Like I said, I'm very, very klutzy in the kitchen sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to push that back because they do get very hot. If you have children, you want to make sure that these are away from their reach. Okay. But I have one that I made just a few minutes ago. And look at how pretty that is. Inside, it is so, so pretty. Okay, and then the other dish has gone off, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this one out. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Ah, it didn't quit on me. You didn't quit on me. Yeah, I'm so sad. Sorry about that blooper there, but this one is pretty too as well. So we're going to put those over there on the rack. Okay. And I unplugged it already. And we're gonna do a taste test on this one that I made a little while ago so that you can see how nice and pretty they are. Look at how nice and pretty they are. And they taste just like a sausage ball. Mm. These are amazing. And just a few ingredients, probably everything you've already got in your kitchen. That's what I specialize in. So please, Try this keto uh, sausage ball chaffle. You will absolutely, I promise you, love it. And I bet your family will love it too. And I hope to see you here on the next video. Have a wonderful day.